pound of sugar, baby. Coming to you once again from the Sugar Shack. How all my sugar cubes doing? Well, let's see, it's been a long time since I made a video. I uh, wanted to wish all my subscribers that are mothers a happy Mother's Day. And all you fathers that are single parents, happy Father's Day, Mother's Day to you too. Um, wow. To all my new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. To all my old subscribers, hey y'all. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> I'm just goofy. Um, let's see. Today's video is topic one moment in time. And the reason I came up with this video or the topic is because um, for several reasons. One, you know, my grandmother passed away last year in August. And it was a whole bunch of mess with that. And I ain't gonna say mess, just um, lack of knowledge with with her, if with her passing. Um, um, the house is going to we're going to relinquish it back to the bank. kids, me and kids was talking about it. I was like, Mom, I don't want to um, lose and da 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 You know, they was talking about, you know, all the memories and things, and it was like, you know, uh, I can leave the house because I can take my memories with them. This is just a place in which it happens, but the memories will always be there. Those can never be um, taken away. Uh, and then, oh, I was watching Basketball Wives last week, and I just was just disgusted with the way Tammy was acting. But anyway, she wrote uh, a blog of, or did an interview or wrote a blog or something saying that the public was bullying her and you know the re reason she acts the way she did is because of her past and for all you that don't watch Basketball Wives um, she's talking about she was raped twice and she had a gun put to her head and couple other tragic things that had happened to her that she kept to herself, her mom, and, you know, nobody ever knew about. And that was, you know, she was using that as in a reason that she, part of the reason she acts the way she acts. But, um, that was only a moment in time. You know, that, those incidents, while they were tragic, you cannot let those things rule the rest of your life. And I've been, um, I've had some rough situations in my lifetime, but that was a moment in time. And it only lingers as long as you let it last. If you, every time you think about it, you get mad all over again, or you want to lash out at somebody, then you let that one moment that happened years ago, months ago, hours ago, days ago, you know, dictate the rest of your day, the rest of your life, the rest of your week, the rest of your month. And don't get me wrong, things happen and it take you a minute to kind of whoo 
get your bearings, but you cannot let that one thing, that one moment in time, you know, dictate the rest of your life. I hear some people say, I will never forgive them. I will never forget. I will never, never. And it's like, baby, baby, baby. Woo, pump your brakes, because that never will keep you in never, never land. You won't never progress. You won't never have peace. You won't never have joy. You won't never be recovered. You won't never be healed, because that never won't, you won't let that thing go. And sometimes we need help. You go see a counselor. You have to cry about it. No, but there comes a time when that you have to let that one moment be that one moment and move on. And so, for all my love, my my sugar chews out there that's dealing with something that has you feel like that has just devastated your world. It was just that one moment in time. You was happy or joyful or whatever before that thing happened. And you can be happy and joyful after it happened. It's up to you. And don't let me help you. Because it had to come to me first. Because I was... My grandma be dead. Uh, almost a year here in August and I was still struggling with it and it was like wait a minute you still got your children you still got a life to live you still got a whole lot more living to do and she lived 87 and out of that 87 you had 48 so just that one day that one moment is you know she may not be here phys 